The Netflix series Wednesday is behind a surge in streams for an 80s punk song. So why is this vintage record connecting so deeply with audiences today? I'm Doma T. Pungo, and this is MTV News. Need to know. There are tons of moments from Netflix's Wednesday that have fans talking. But it's a school dance scene in episode four that people cannot stop posting about on social media. Star Jenna Ortega put together the delightfully bizarre choreography herself and said she was partially inspired by 80s footage of goths dancing in clubs. The song playing in the background of the scene was the Cramps punk cover of Ronnie Cook and the gay lad song Google Muck. The Cramps version was a cult hit in 1981, but according to Billboard, Wednesday made it pop off once again, driving its daily streams up over 5,000%. And thanks to this viral dance scene, the outlet predicted that the Cramps could belatedly earn its first career Hot 100 hit. A revival of the spooky sitcom The Addams Family, Wednesday already provides a hint of nostalgia. The spinoff, executive produced by Tim Burton, is an even darker interpretation of the offbeat show, first conceived in comics in the 30s and later retold in the 60s and 90s. The newest story about the Addams Family focuses on the teen daughter, Wednesday, as she uses her powers to solve a murder mystery at her magical boarding school. Since it premiered last Wednesday, the eight-episode series broke Netflix's record for the most hours viewed in a week for any English-language series. This past summer, that title belonged to the fourth season of Stranger Things, which also brought an old song back into the zeitgeist. A heavy moment in the season was soundtracked by Kate Bush's 1985 song, Running Up That Hill. That single from decades ago hit Billboard's top five thanks to the show, and Spotify streams increased by over 9,900%. This has been a big trend this year. A moody series or movie drops that riffs on a past era whether it's set in another time period or reboots a classic. The soundtrack reintroduces a vintage hit to an unfamiliar audience, and it takes off on streaming platforms, giving it a whole new life. Let's take The Batman, which dropped back in March. It featured Something in a Way, a B-side from Nirvana's 1991 album, Nevermind. It had some popularity in its heyday, but it was overshadowed by hits like Smells Like Teen Spirit and Lithium. But following the placement in the Batman film, its Spotify stream spiked by 1,200%, and the record paired perfectly with Robert Pattinson's moodier, more reclusive take on the vigilante, which was inspired by the grunge era. So why exactly are young people vibing with angsty old music? Maybe these songs simply reflect where young people are at right now. They're growing up in the midst of global emergencies, from COVID to climate change to gun violence to politics, all contributing to a mental health crisis. So these general feelings of doom and anxiety are likely why such dark TV shows and movies are hidden. But even in the midst of this, Wednesday offers comedic moments that offset the gloom and doom. Pop punk music captures this dichotomy perfectly. The genre saw a major revival in 2021 when acts like Olivia Rodrigo blew up. These artists can take sad things like breakups and add a splash of humor like Rodrigo's hit, Good For You. Culture writer Tim Marson believes there are a few reasons why darkness is becoming mainstream right now. Cultural trends are cyclical, resurfacing every 20 years or so. The punk movement of the late 70s gave way to the birth of pop punk in the early 2000s, which has ultimately inspired this current wave of stars. Rodrigo, Halsey, Machine Gun Kelly, Youngblood, and more. That being said, 2021 was the perfect year for a pop punk renaissance. Maybe it is true that there is nothing new under the sun. And yes, sometimes Hollywood does rely too heavily on nostalgia or remakes. But every now and then, you get a show that revives an era or a classic for good reason. I'm Doma T. Pongo, and that's what you need to know. Hey.